guys. Good afternoon, people. Well, everywhere. So uh, today it is Wednesday. Anyway, uh, got some parts in for the truck, uh, for the fourth gen, the mega cab, the drunken ram. Um, purchased uh, this stuff off of the eBay. So headlights. Um, comes with a little condensation, fun facts, how to check it, um, if you already got moisture, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, hopefully I'm not too worried about that, but these guys are slippery. So, um, here we go, here's the light, one of the lights. You can see, I went with the, I went with black. Black, the amber, um, chrome here, and then the, I don't remember. I think these are high beams, low beams. So, um, everything looks good on those. So, I'll just wait till the weekend to install those. Just in case, the next part I'm going to show you isn't right, which are LEDs. So, I asked the guy if you're supposed to have use resistors for these, and he never responded, and he just decided to ship them out. So, they are a four-way LED. So, um, I went with the four-way. I saw these. They have the four-way LED. So, I don't remember if these are highs or lows. I think the H11s are lows and the 9005s are highs i could be wrong i'm more than likely i'm wrong um but they got this little set screw right there so that if your beam isn't flat you can rotate it depending on where this falls in um they got fans back here it's supposed to be the highest rated fan blah 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 but it's also supposed to be they have a five-year warranty on them, um, but then when you read the paperwork here, paperwork says 12 months. So, whatever. Which I'm assuming the company that I bought them from was probably five-year, which they'll probably change their name in three months. Um, yeah. So I got lights, headlights to install. Um, I did order the fog lights, light bulbs. I did install those already. Um, this is some vinyl wrap because I'm going to attempt to vinyl wrap my door handles and the mirrors. And then this is a silicone hose that's bent like this. Like this. I think it goes like this. I think it goes like this because I got some of these plates to take a part off of the truck. And to put these plates on and hardware so I ordered this I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be uh, I'm not allowed to have it in California obviously so anyway this hose this connector goes on there um, these bolt to the exhaust side and then in turn bolts to this and then that little adapter goes in here this goes to the piece that stays on the truck this goes to the hose yada yada this I will not be using because I purchased a different part so uh, yeah so that's a delete for a RGE or yeah RGE <laughs> RGE delete because I don't want anybody finding out what it actually is. But you guys know what it is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, what else did I get? Oh, I got my exhaust here. So we have the downpipe. That's the downpipe. This is the axle over pipe. Muffler. And then some straight pipe, some 5-inch straight pipe. So... That will go on 
for the the FDP delete and uh, yeah FDP I know I'm saying I'm saying the letters backwards but whatever so I got that exhaust stuff I got the um, RGE delete that stuff um, I am waiting on Oh, I'm waiting on a uh, exhaust probe, EGT, exhaust gas temperature probe. Uh, I'm waiting on that. But uh, yeah, I've been driving the truck, a 2010 Ram, for a little while now. And uh, for about two weeks, I'm loving it. Really, really, really like this truck. So, we got LEDs in there, if you can see them. So I'll go turn them on. They're a blue. They're supposed to be a, a 6,000 K. So fog lights on. Um, so as you can see, it's a blue, blue tint. And then it used to be that color. It used to be brown, orange, yellow, whatever. Now it's a blue. So. Anywho, just wanted to do a little update real quick to show you guys. Um, these are Weather Techs. Um, they say on the back Weather Tech. I thought they were Husky Liner or something. Um, but yeah, for the most part. Oh, by the way, if uh, everything diesel is out there watching my video, because I know you put some amp research steps on here. Um, just check these bolts under here. I think those Allen bolts, I believe they're a four millimeter Allen, or actually, no, they're a three sixteenths Allen. Um, just check them. Mine up here were loose, but it's because they probably been used a lot. But these were loose and uh, they would flop. So I had a lot of, a lot of play right here. That gap right there, you had a lot of play, or I had a lot of play. So anyway, um, but yeah, just check those. And also my sway bar end links were loose. As you can see, I got a couple extra threads out of there. Probably need to get some bushings. Um, but yeah, so I got projects for the truck. I got videos to make. Um, and I did, I did drill holes in the headlights so one angle in I did drill holes so I don't know if you can see that black thing right there that is a hole um and then the other side here as you can see that black thing right there is a hole um just so that moisture will try to escape somehow um, I'm looking at the new headlights because those are not OEM headlights I found out because they don't have a the Chrysler Dodge Chrysler emblem so I might do something with these um, or I might just throw them on so but I will open them up um, this paperwork does not say anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up and let them uh, acclimate I guess you could say um but yeah so i'll open up the backs let the let them acclimate or maybe even bring them in the house uh somewhere where it's dry and then i'll i'll uh stick the bulbs in there so anyway yeah i got projects headlights uh that delete wrap uh more delete over there so anyway just wanted to give you guys a little update. I've been working like crazy, just been working, working to finally get to be off when it's daytime, when there's daylight. And I have more of this to do too, but I really want to just get this done because that truck, I'm, I am only getting max 11.5 miles per gallon out of that truck. And uh, the guy that bought my truck, my old truck, the other fork gen, he said his wife is getting 
uh, I think 22 miles per gallon around town. Um, actually, it's not around town. She's going back and forth to work, but she is driving. <sighs> She's driving kind of like on a highway, not a freeway, not an interstate, but a highway. Um, She's driving on that highway um, for probably about 40 miles. So that's where she's getting most of her MPGs. So anyway, uh, oh yeah, and I gotta I gotta install this too for the EGT probe when I get that. Um yeah, just a lot of stuff. So anyway, post this video tonight because I haven't done a video in a little while. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for these future videos that are going to be coming up. All right, guys. Later.